If you look at some of the volatility that we've seen, I mean, how long does this rally last? As Christine was saying, the fundamentals in the UK aren't great. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's difficult to pinpoint how long the rally will, will last exactly. But, you know, I think markets will, you know, will fret about the political shenanigans. And, of course, we know the story's not yet over at, uh, at Downing Street, or we certainly suspect it's not. But, you know, the, the collection of policies that so riled markets just a, sh a few short weeks ago, you know, I don't... It's pretty clear that we're not going back to that, and there has been sort of a commitment to a reversal on it. And I think the Bank of England has shown its credentials here in terms of fighting inflation and its willingness to sort of stand against, you know, that collection of policies, the unfunded tax cuts that would sort of seem to be so inflationary. So I think, you know, of course, as I said, the political noise can, can throw gilt yields, can throw the pound around a little bit in the short term. But I think... We're not going back to that collection of policies, so there is, there is room for a bit of a run but, here, but, uh, for a positive run for the pound. Uh, but in terms of the risk, the risk premium that it is now priced into to UK assets, when, when do we get that back down? What do you need to see to see that coming back down to kind of pre-mini budget levels? Well, t time, certainly. Right. <laughs> but uh, uh, also uh, affirmation that, you know, the Bank of England is going to manage technical... Because things can break. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have these sort of gilt yield spikes or, or, or any bond yield spikes, things can break. And we've seen a bit of a uh, disturbance or, or slightly larger than a bit of a disturbance in the pensions market. And so the Bank of England's got to manage that, but also take on these inflationary threats. And it's, you know, it's a bit of a juggling act at the moment. I think it's managing it uh, OK, but no. combination of that uncertainty about what else could sort of fall over post this sort of uh, move higher in, in, in interest rates plus the political noise. You know, it could be a bit of an uneasy ride, but I think that, that, uh, that risk premium will fade based on sort of things I mentioned.